So, FIFA 22 is just around the corner. Let's talk about some wants to watches and what we're getting in FIFA 22. For cheap, fast and reliable foot coins, check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description and use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. So, I'm recording this on Saturday, August 14th. No reason why I'm wearing the United share or anything. Not a beautiful 5-1 victory, anything like that. Um, but FIFA 22 is just around the corner. The official release date for FIFA 22 is October 1st. That is for the standard edition. Now, if you pre-order the Ultimate Edition, you actually get full access to the game on the 27th of September. And if you have EA Play, you get even earlier access for 10 hours on the 22nd of September. You also get a few bonuses for that Ultimate Edition pre-order. You get yourself a free Team of the Week and Ones to Watch item. And if you pre-ordered it before August 11th, you got a free Heroes item too, which is actually really cool. But today's video is all about ones to watch. If you want to see a further video on Heroes, let me know in the comments down below. Now, as I said, we're recording this on August 14th. The Premier League has pretty much just started. So I thought we'd start this video now um, and then closer to the date of FIFA 22. If there's any more transfers that we don't get in this video, we'll make another one, an updated one, a team two, as you may say, for FIFA 22 wants to watch. Now, before we actually get into the players, there's actually been a little change to watch to watch in FIFA 22 and it's actually as per the sort of bottom paragraph here uh, it says wants to watch player items will upgrade when a player receives a qualifying performance based inform team of the week or man of the match for 22 wants to watch players will also get a one time plus one in form upgrade if their team wins five out of their next 10 domestic league games starting from October 1st 2021 so uh from then onwards, if they win five out of their next 10 league games or, or, or domestic games, that means, you know, Carabao Cup, FA Cup or Premier League for English teams, um, they could get another plus one. Now, this is new, different, and I think pretty cool because once the watches can be a bit stale sometimes if they don't get an upgrade, so... You know, adding in a way they can get an upgrade is pretty cool, if you ask me. Now, let's talk about actual ones to watches that we could possibly get in FIFA 22. For Team 1, I've kind of gone with the majority of the big signings that I would say are guaranteed to get ones to watch items in FIFA 22. And then a few players that I think also will get them. Now, for all of these players, pretty much I've given them all an upgrade just for the simple reason that it's just fun and cool to look at when they get an upgrade. These are not rating predictions in any way, shape or form. They're just there for show essentially. Um, that's the only reason why I've given them a plus one upgrade on pretty much every single card. So if you see a player that you don't think deserves an upgrade, it's literally just for show. It's not anything interesting. And of course, these aren't guaranteed. These aren't confirmed. These are just what I think we'll get once to watch wise in FIFA 22. And like I said, there'll be a Team 2 video closer to FIFA 22's release. Now, we might as well start with the first guaranteed and actual confirmed ones to watch in FIFA 22. They've actually confirmed this already as part of their promotions. It's David Alaba. Now, he's gone from Bayern Munich to uh, Real Madrid on a free transfer, which I think is a really good signing for Real Madrid, considering they've also lost their two other marquee centre-backs we'll talk about later on in this video. Uh, but I think he'll have a really cool card on FIFA 22 as well. I don't know if Dav David Alaba necessarily had a great season. I know he got a team of the season, but... Typically, sometimes EA give team of the seasons to players that maybe aren't the most deserving of players, but just because they're going to sell packs, um, as per maybe some players in this video we might see. But I think he'll have a good card again, and there'll be some really good links there as well. You've got the Valverde, Ferlamendi, and Alaba, like sort of trio link on that left-hand side, which is really nice. Um, you know, you've got Thibaut Courtois, you've got Eder Militao, you've got, I guess, Danny Carvajal, if you want to put him in there as well. There's a few decent links for Alaba that will be nice for uh, for him being a Real Madrid player. And also, he's just a nice card in general. And if you get him for free out of your wants to watch pack, you've got a really good centre-back that you can use for most of the game. And I'd imagine he'll get at least a plus one, given the fact that I would be very surprised if Real Madrid don't win at least five of the next 10 domestic games, especially with there being like cup games and whatnot. Um, so you might have a, you know, a plus one on a card there and a nice card. Speaking of Real Madrid marquee centre-backs they've lost, the first of which is Rafael Varane. Obviously, I am over the moon being a Man United fan to sign Rafael Varane. Uh, the initial fee is about £34 million as well, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, add-ons could rise it to, I think, £42 million roughly, um, but it's a fantastic sign if you ask me he's a four-time champions league winning defender he's a world cup winning defender and he's miles better than lindelof now this is one of those players that i thought ea gave a team of the season to despite not really deserving a team of the season i thought he was good in the euros personally but i didn't think he was maybe the best in the league and i didn't really think he deserved a team of the season however when you do look at other center backs in the la liga 
I guess he wasn't the worst. And he, you know, maybe could have got in there, snuck in there. And obviously, any chance EA can get to sell packs, they'll take it, right? Um, but this will be a sick card to get the start of the year. I can see this card being eight, 900k, this wants to watch card, easily. Maybe a million coins, given the fact that his normal card last year was like three, 400k. And then Prem Tax on top of the normal card will send his, his ordinary card this year at Man United, maybe to half a million coins if he doesn't get an insane downgrade, uh, as we've seen with the likes of Virgil van Dijk in previous FIFAs. Um, so the fact that it's a special card and it could upgrade and it's likely to upgrade uh, with United winning, you know, five of their 10 domestic games, you'd hope anyway, or I'd hope anyway. Um, yeah, it could be a ridiculously expensive card. If you pack that in a wants to watch pack, you're pretty much set in that centre-back spot for the rest of FIFA. Like, normal Varane actually still does a job in this FIFA on FIFA 21. So to get a special card and it be upgradable... Mate, I think you're loving life. Do you know what I mean? I suppose it's probably best to talk about the uh, the other United transfer now. Get it out of the way. Get my bias out of the way as quickly as possible. We've got Jaden Sancho uh, from Man United as well. I think it's about £75 million pounds or so. I haven't really looked into the transfer details of all these transfers. I'm just sort of talking from what I remember off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, I think he's a great signing. I think Sancho's a great player. I'm really happy that we've signed him. I think we needed a out-and-out -out right winger or, or someone that can play at right wing. Um, as we've really not had a right winger since kind of a here. We've kind of thrown Greenwood and Matter on the right and hope they do a job for the last eight or nine years. And I mean, you know, we haven't won anything in the last few years so that shows, shows how well that's going but no i'm really excited about Jaden sancho i think he definitely deserves an upgrade he logged an incredible amount of goals and assists last year in the bundesliga i think moving to the premier league as well and moving to a big club like united ea typically do give upgrades to players like that so i can see this being a 100 deserved upgrade by the way and i hope they give him the pace he deserves i don't want to see no 83 84 pace here. i want to see at least 85 plus all right i want to see to be honest like 88 plus but I'm biased, aren't I? Um, but no, great signing if you ask me. Um, the fact that we spent about 110 million or so on Rafael Varane and Jane Sancho in... It just blows my mind. It's great business from us. I wish we'd sign a midfielder. Um, but as it stands now, I'm very happy with our signing so far. I do want to see a midfielder brought into the theory of dreams. But, you know, I can't ask for everything now, can I? It's being greedy. But no, I'm, I'm excited to use this card. Hey, you packed this card at the start of the year. It's another card you're going to be loving for the rest of the year, right? So excited about that. We might as well take a trip from Trafford to the Etihad. And uh, we'll talk about Grealish real quick. Um, the other side of Manchester. Uh, 100 million pound most expensive English player in world football. I think most expensive Premier League player in world football as well. Um, you know, broken City's records for signings as well. We've got Jack, Jack Grealish. He's got a, he's got a wants to watch is Jack Grealish. Sorry about that. Um, no, but uh, we've got Jack Grealish and uh, I think you'll definitely get a nice upgrade. I think people are predicting 84s, 85s. I don't think that personally, but I think an 83 is definitely something I can see him. And I've put him centrally because a lot of City fans I speak to have said that he's going to be playing centrally next year. Now, I honestly don't know. I think he'll be a left winger, but I put central just to appease the people that I know will be hoping he plays central. And also, because it just looks fun, doesn't it? You know, I, like these aren't supposed to be serious prediction cards or anything like that. So it's fun to just make him an attacking midfielder as opposed to a left winger. Uh, but yeah, Jack Grealish, uh, I think is a good signing for City. Although I'll be completely honest with you, and this might be again my United bias. I don't think Jack Grealish levels City up at all. I think that City were and are as good as they were before they signed Grealish as they are now. Um, to me, it's kind of a good player, but it's City don't need it. If City sign Kane, they've, they've won everything, in my opinion. But if they don't, like, I don't see how Grealish kind of wins them trophies they weren't going to win beforehand, you know what I'm saying? Um, but that's just my opinion anyway. All right, so I guess we get the uh, the entire Wants to Watch team out of the way then. Uh, PSG seem to have just bought everybody, right? They seem to have... I say bought. To be fair, there's only one player on the, uh, out of the four I've selected here that have actually been, that's been paid money for, right? And that's Hakimi, um, who I think is about £70 million. Pounds. Um, might have been Euros. But we have Ramos, Donnarumma, Messi, and Hakimi from PSG. Um, the fact that PSG signed Donnarumma, Ramos, Messi, and Genie Wijnaldum for free is insane business. The reason why Wijnaldum is not in this list is because I just don't think uh, EA would put four or five PSG players in the same ones to watch team. So I'm going to save him for team two. There's a little spoiler for you. Um, but no, great business for PSG. They absolutely have to be contenders for the Champions League now, right? They... 
they have to be challenging for that, surely. If they don't get to the final, that's, in my opinion, a failure with the players have brought in. Um, but no, it would be nice to see Messi getting a once to watch item, although it's really weird seeing him as a PSG player. Um, you know, Ramos, I've not given a downgrade to because I don't think he deserves one, just a little bit of a pace downgrade because he's getting older. Hakimi is Mr. Wants to Watch. I think he's Wants to Watch every year. And then Donnarumma, I think they'll give a goalkeeper a Wants to Watch, and this is probably the best signing of a goalkeeper that we will have in the entire window. So Donnarumma is a Wants to Watch, no doubt in my mind. He was obviously playing the tournament, the Euros. Um, and yeah, I think he'll definitely be a Wants to Watch. So PSG are definitely hogging the limelight for the Wants to Watch team this year. And I think that these four players from PSG are pretty much shoe-ins to get ones to watches, in my opinion. Another free transfer we have here is Memphis Depay. I've gone with him over Aguero. I think Aguero could get a once to watch and it actually would be pretty cool of EA to give Aguero and Messi once to watch given the fact that they're both really close friends. But the reason why I haven't included Aguero yet is because I have a weird feeling there is still um, a surprise in the story of Aguero so far. There have been rumours that he all already wants to leave Barca before signing due to the fact that they can't announce him as a player. They can't actually officially register him, whatnot. So maybe Aguero moves on. It'd be crazy. It's very unlikely. It's almost impossible, I feel like. But it's, you know, it's not It's not impossible. It's not, you know, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I've put Memphis to buy that. Obviously, another free transfer from Olympique Lyon. Um, you know, very, very good signing, in my opinion, for Barcelona. He's a very good player. I think he'll do a lot for Barcelona this season. I think that it's a shame, really, he's actually come in as Messi's departed. Same with Aguero. Um, I feel like they've actually got a half-decent attack now. Um, whereas, I mean, it's not that I don't rate Usman Dembele, and it's not that I don't rate Griezmann, but I feel like Depay and Aguero are better than De Usman Dembele and Griezmann. Just my opinion. Maybe Griezmann in behind would be the ultimate attack for them. Um, and if I'm forgetting anyone from Barca, please let me know. Um, but yeah, no, good signing for Barca. And he'll have a nice ones to watch card, I feel like, in FIFA 22 as well. So I'm looking forward to it. Speaking of Dutch strikers, we have Daniel Marlon, who's gone from uh, PSV to uh, Borussia Dortmund. I think the fee's around 20 to 25 million euros. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that, actually. I really haven't done a lot of research, have I? Um, no, but he's uh, apparently the Sancho replacement. I've seen and, and read that he can play on the left and the right as well as up front um so maybe that is uh you know Dortmund's way of replacing Sancho um he looks okay in the Euros I didn't think he looked particularly amazing but he looked okay and I think he'll do well in the Bundesliga um but he's going to be one of a few players that are kind of lower rated um in the ones to watch that are just there more as fillers in my opinion speaking of fillers I think Patson Dacker is also a filler I actually think he's a very good signing for Leicester, but I think he's kind of like Osserman and kind of like um, Don Jonathan David from FIFA 21 wants to watch in the sense that, you know, they're strikers, so they could get a lot of goals and could get upgrades, but maybe won't. I don't know. I think Pats and Dakar will get a few goals, though. I think he will actually get a couple of upgrade upgrades, but I just don't think he is the wants to watch that everyone's hoping to pack in their wants to watch pack. He's one of those where you're like, ooh. And I'll take it, and if they get if he gets an upgrade, that's decent as well. But I feel like this gotta be good for the first two weeks, and that's about it, right? And then if he gets an upgrade, maybe it's usable until about November. Um, so yeah, it's one of those. But no, it's uh, it's it's a good signing for Leicester. It's just a shame that on FIFA, um, you know, the pace will be the pace will be good. But I think in about a month's time, you get players that are pacey, have four-star skills, and have great dribbling and, and whatnot. So, um, although he could get four-star skills, I think he might have had it last year as well. We'll see. Uh, good signing, though, for Leicester. I actually think Leicester's recruitment and Leicester's signing is probably one of the best in the league. And, and it's on par with a lot of other teams. They just seem to make the right signings. They've also signed Vestergaard and a few other players here and there. So, yeah, really good business from Leicester. And we'll see how they perform this season. I actually really hope they get at least top six, let alone top four. Second to last, we actually have Ibrahim Kone. Nate. I didn't realize this guy was about six foot twelve. This guy's massive. I've seen a photo of him next to Van Dyke, and this guy is absolutely huge, and he's built like a brick wall. Um, I'm gonna hold my hands up because we've got him and Up Meccano for the last two. I watched both of these play against Man United and thought both Konate and Meccano were very average at best. But I know that Klopp and Liverpool are fantastic at evolving and adapting players, and they make players play in their system very, very well. So I can easily see Konate leveling up massively at Liverpool. I can see him going to Liverpool as what I would call an average player and coming out of Liverpool as being one of the better centre-backs in the league or maybe even the world. He's got someone like Van Dijk next to him to learn from and, and, and get experience with. I, you know, it's very, very possible this guy's going to be absolutely fantastic. He's, you know, he's quick. And also... Outside of real-world football, just in FIFA, the fact that we're going to have a, a three uh, centre-back uh, availability of ones to watch Varane, ones to watch Meccano, and ones to watch Canate, that's pretty filthy. Um, and even, even if you don't get the ones to watch items, the fact you get a strong link of Canate and Varane, you can get Larissa and Goey, you've got three strong links there, and you can pretty much link the team elsewhere. 
That's tasty. That is very, very tasty. And of course, the next player is Deo Ubmakano, uh, the other Frenchman from Leipzig that has moved to uh, Bayern Munich. Good signing for Bayern, if you ask me. I think it's a good replacement for David Elba, but I also think that Bayern typically sign players like this from other German teams because they just want to essentially weaken the other German team so that in the league they have an easier run. Now that Leipzig's defence uh, is... is no longer got Kanate and Ubmakano, it's going to be a lot easier for Bayern to just run straight through with Lewandowski, realistically. Um, so, yeah, but no, he's going to be a good card in FIFA. And the last one, and arguably one of the most exciting ones to watch is, is going to be Romelu Bolingoli Lukaku. Mate, Lukaku is a beast, and I'm very, very excited and also nervous to see him back in the Premier League. I think he could do absolute bits for Chelsea, and he's also going to have a sick card in the Premier League. Now, I give him a plus two from his 85. I don't know how generous EA will be, but we'll see. Again, it's not really a prediction. It's just like what I threw on there. A lot of people are giving him 88, 89. So I'm just saying before people get upset with me. Chelsea fans, I'm not I'm not underrating him. I'm, I just threw it on there. I don't know what he'll get, right? But I think that he's going to get a lot of goals this season. He's going to be a very good striker um, for Chelsea. And I'm very excited to see him back in the Premier League. And that's it for this video. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below. Subscribe if you guys are new around here. Thank you all for watching. Let me know in the comments down below who you guys think are getting into the ones to watch. And I'll see you later.